They are very well known chemists. They are uh, sort of uh, real chemists. They are not working in biology. They are making compounds with using these uh, methods. And uh, for example, if you go into the drug discovery industry, you will find that maybe 20% or something like that of all chemical transformations that are performed are uh, done with the, the methods by these uh, uh, Nobel Prize winners. Being a medicinal chemist trying to produce uh, uh, bioactive compounds that we want to develop to drugs, we use um, Suzuki and HEC reactions every day. They have different applications. Uh, the Suzuki reaction is used for some types of carbons. The HEC is used for double bonds and the Nagishi is used for long carbon chains. So uh, de uh, depending on one, what type of molecule you want to create, you, you use one of these three mainly. If you want to create a pharmaceutical compound to manipulate, for example, some biological process to fight a disease, you need to create a compound that is carbon-based. The problem is, though, that carbon atoms are pretty stable and they're very reluctant to react with something else. And what the Nagishi reaction does is to employ a metal called palladium. So you use the palladium to activate the two carbon atoms that are part of bigger molecular structures and you connect them together. And once this connection is done and you have built your final compound, you can give it, for example, to a human being in order to fight a disease. My main aim is to synthesize inhibitors for tuberculosis organisms. Uh, so by that I mean that um, we want to create an organic molecule that you can add to the organism and which will find a specific place, uh, like a lock in the key. And then this will inhibit a specific enzyme which will in turn kill off the tuberculosis parasite. We have, uh, uh, in a way, partly continued the work by uh, especially Richard Heck and uh, continue to develop new reactions based on his um, original ideas and the way he explored it. Before I started as a PhD student, he was an opponent here with the Anders Halberg's group, so he has been in Sweden before, but I have never met him, but I will meet him next week, which is good. <laughs>